air cooking on 700. <laughs> Are you? Okay? Yeah. So this product, what's so good about it is it will go on the stove top. It goes in the microwave. It goes in the oven, under the broiler, on the grill. And guess where else it goes, Linda? In the dishwasher. Woo! Okay? So it's going to take care of all of those places for you. So let's go ahead and mix up our cake. Uh, so we're going to jump around a little bit back and forth, but it'll be okay, I promise. Another new product this, this um, season is the newly redesigned classic and small batter bowls. And I really like these because they've got flat bottoms now, so it's not so curved like this in the oval shape that we used to have that makes mixing up easier and more thorough, okay? Also, the pour spout has been improved so that you can uh, pour out things without it running down the side of your bowl, okay? All right, these chips, what do we got to do next? Cool them. Cool. You got to cool the crisp, okay? Bam. All right, so let's mix up our cake. In the classic batter bowl, we have one and two thirds cup of Devil's Food Cake Mix. And let me give you a little tip. Go get Duncan Hines Devil's Food Cake Mix, or you can use Betty Crocker. The Pillsbury Devil's Food for this particular recipe does not hold up as well, and your cake presentation will not be as pretty as you'd like it to be. Okay? Why not the Jiffy? Sorry, well, you can do. I, I'm, I, have, I'm, I haven't done the Jiffy, but I have Jiffy might be okay. Like the flavor of it. You didn't like the like flavor? The flavor. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. So now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take an egg. So we have one egg, and we have an eight-ounce shot of sour cream, and those are the three ingredients we need to mix our cake up with tonight. Okay. This cake is going to take us four minutes to bake. Is that not exciting or what? Okay. Woo! So you can have your chocolate in four minutes. Woo! All right. Let's talk. I got a little southwest right there. We're on a southwest in the cake, do we? Yeah. All right. So I'm going to take my little uh, egg and go. And I've got my egg sitting in the little mini um, easy read measuring cup. This is a great scooper, you guys, for your canister, for your coffee, for sugar. Okay, as well as a four tablespoon measuring cup. Alright, so there's our egg. And now we're going to take a little mini mixing scraper. Ain't that cute? we got a lot of babies running around in the catalog. A lot of kids. Okay, so y'all make sure. It's been a while since some of y'all have been to, the, to a show. Make sure you look for those, okay? So I'm stirring up my egg and I'm going to dump in my sour cream. This is going to be so good. And we're going to mix this up well. And I'm going to mix that up with the large mixing scraper. Bam. Okay, and as you fold this all together, get it good mixed, we're going to dump it in the bottom of the rock crock. And again, this is a two and a half quart uh, everyday uh, rock crock is what we call it, the everyday pan. Okay, and the lid is made of glass, and I'm going to pass the lid around, just, you know, y'all can pass it around, about, you know, a couple of you. Um, you can feel how lightweight it is, but also notice how the indentions are made for easy handling on grabbing it and handling it so it's not uh, as easy to drop, okay? So mix this up well, and we're going to dump that right in the pan. All right, are you having a good time? Yeah. yeah. Okay, are you learning anything? Yeah. yeah. Okay, wonderful. I have a question. No. Okay, well, we'll save that for the end of the show. Oh, I was wondering if you have to um, oil the pan. No, ma'am, you do not need to oil the pan for this cake. So, one last step, okay? All right, there we go. I've got it good and mixed. About as good and mixed as I'm going to get it there. <laughs> now I'm going to take this and put it in the bottom of the rock rock. All right, where's the lid? Is it coming back around? Because we do need the lid. Okay? And you know what? The mixing scrapers, you need a scraper for the scraper, right? <laughs> okay. All right. I love the mixing scrapers because they are so versatile. Don't forget, you can use them in hot stuff, you guys. They will stay in 650 degrees Fahrenheit. That don't light your fire, your wood's wet. Because you can mix that up with your spaghetti sauce or whatever. Okay? All right. So now we're going to put the lid on. This is good. Good to go. Get all that off there. And put this in Marie's microwave for four minutes. Cross all fingers and toes, <laughs> and we don't have to add another minute to it. Okay, but if we do, it's okay. 
All right, now the next thing I'm going to do is season the chicken. And so, talked about the rock crock every day. This is the Dutch oven four quart rock crock, okay? So, same thing, goes in all the same places and will be um, very uh, useful in cooking for you, okay? And the grill, I mean, goes on the grill. I mean, that's just awesome. One piece that can go anywhere, wherever it is that you want to cook. All right, so now we're going to switch gears a little bit, and we're going to talk about stoneware, okay? Stoneware is an awesome product from the Pepper Chef. I love the stoneware that I have here tonight. This will revolutionize the way you cook. And I love the choices. You know what? With the rock crock, you have, and now the stoneware, and then our cookware that we offer in the Pepper Chef, there's something there to fit whatever your needs are. Okay, so the round covered baker, I like to call the baby. And this deep covered baker, all that back row that had this, I like to call this the mama. Okay, both of these products are stoneware pieces and they can be used in two places, the microwave and the oven. Now all you busy people, this is a great product to cook all meats in without flipping or adding water ever in the microwave. Meatloaf in 19 minutes. A whole chicken in 35. Uh, fall off the bone grandma good, by the way. A pound to a pound and a half of any boneless, skinless meat, no matter if it's steak, chicken, pork, whatever it is, will cook in 12 to 13 minutes in it. Okay? So how many of you have used it for meats? Okay. And it's just tender and juicy. If you are a member of the I Dried Out the Pork Chop Club, Cook your pork chops and your pork tenderloins in there. You won't dry out any more pork, okay? All right. The next thing that most people do not even realize the product will do are vegetables. Homemade mashed potatoes, five pounds for potato salad or homemade mashed potatoes cooks in 15 to 19 minutes. We'll shut the gate and paint the bar red, okay? <laughs> most people are not cooking in here, cooking mashed potatoes because why? I'm so busy. I don't have time to wash, peel, quarter, holler at my husband to go stir the stove, getting ready to boil over and then mash them. But 15 to 19 minutes, five pounds of quarter taters will fit cooking here. Potato salad. Okay, roasted corn on the cob. Love roasted corn on the cob. Eight to ten ears cooks in ten minutes. Spray it with the garlic oil. Put your southwest, put whatever season, crushed pepper, corn, and garlic. And now you can have some really good corn without it being burnt, slammed up on the grill. Okay. It'll also do baked beans. It'll do cabbage. Oh my gosh. Now where I'm from, of course you probably already know now, I am not from here, but <laughs> we like to cook greens and cabbage. And you know what the next ingredient is in the South? Where's the fat back ham hog or the bacon grease to go along with it? Well, you can chop up a whole head of cabbage in here in 12 to 13 minutes. It's done, folks. Cut up a kielbasa sausage or whatever sausage is on sale to go along with it, and you've got a one-pot meal for the fall. So vegetables, no water, no water added. Steamed vegetables too. Then, of course, it does desserts. So if you're not super excited about this, then you make sure that you get super excited about it because it does so many different things, okay? We're not going to use this piece tonight. We're going to use the baby. And the baby's lightweight and will do everything that that one will do, but it will do half the portion. This is great for I'm cooking for one. Bam! I have a small microwave. Bam! I got somebody going to college. Bam! Grandma can't lift that. Bam! <laughs> it's great for all of that. You got Arthur, you got Ritus, you got Carpal, you got Tunnel, you can't live. Here you go. Okay? Alright. So, now, hey Nancy Joe, how are you? Okay. Now, the next thing I'm going to do here, oh, this is ready. Let's check on that s'mores cake. Alright, now this is something that's really going to blow your socks off. Or, I won't repeat what y'all said. <laughs> but, let me tell y'all this. This is the best hidden secret that people are not selling. I've sold 172 of these since January. Okay? Wow. Now, why is that? Because these are the silicone oven mitts that will do what? Protect your hands up to 650 degrees Fahrenheit. But you know what? You don't have to hide them because they don't get ugly. They don't burn and singe and all that on the ends. You don't have to throw them in the washing machine. You can go to the grill to pull what you need off. You can pull out of the oven what you need off. And most importantly, Jan, you can go right here to the sink and wash them with soap and water. You don't have to throw them in the washing machine. 
Woo, shut the gate and paint the barn red. That is awesome. All right, now let's take out this rock crop. So get you a set of these because you need that. So you don't get burned, right? Holidays are coming up. All right, let's look at our cake. Go over there, little rock crop. Woo, ain't she pretty? Okay, now, so Marie's microwave's cooking up pretty good. Now, this is a recipe change that you won't see in our season's best, but I really like this, and I hope that you enjoy it too. And if you've ever had this recipe, you're probably going to like this. What we're going to do is add some chocolate frosting now to the cake. And we're going to use, where'd she go? The scoop and spread. Love this thing. Great for peanut butter, jelly, ice, and whatever. So let's dump this out, half of this, on top of the cake. And this is just regular chocolate frosting. And even I've seen this season out, some Hershey S'mores frosting that you can get. So that's good for the cake, too. So some people will say, well, don't you need to let the cake cool down? This is a hot cake. So go ahead and put it right on top and just spread it around a little bit. Okay. There we go. Turn it around, Nancy Josie. All right, I got it. Okay. <laughs> Are y'all having a good time? Yeah. All right, I hope so. All right, so now, after you get the frosting on there, we're going to reserve the second half of the frosting for the top of the cake. We're going to go ahead and add to this the graham crackers, okay? And we're going to add the marshmallows, okay? All right, so I'm going to use that tool that Jolene loves, the manual food processor. This thing is awesome. It will chop anything. It's larger than our food chopper, and it's versatile because it will chop and mix. So salsa, guacamole, um, all of that stuff. Coleslaw, deviled eggs. Anybody here make deviled eggs ever? Mm -hmm. Okay, and you know how some people make them? So you throw your egg yolk, your pickle cubes, and your mayonnaise in there and go, whoa, and chop them up. So I'm going to chop up the graham crackers, and they don't need to be chopped up a lot, but this is what you do. Place your hand here, and you go, whoa, and your leg has to come up with it. Whoa, just like that right there, okay? <laughs> All right, now don't drive 25. Some of y'all are going to do this. That thing just didn't work like it did the night it showed. Well, you know why? You've got to go full throttle. Woo, woo, and every time that you do it, okay? So it will chop up these graham cat crackers to smithereens if you want to, but we don't need them chopped up that way. We just need them a little coarsely chopped. So dump that in here. And now we're going to put the marshmallows on here, okay? And use whatever kind you want to. We're going to put this in the oven because we're going to um, melt the marshmallows in the oven, okay? All right. And let's put another the marshmallow. Y'all like marshmallows? Okay. Broiler on? Woo! Okay. Do you need my broiler on? feel like I'm on an episode of Chopped. I'm just kidding. But that's a good line when you're feeling stressed. I feel like I'm going to have this over chopped. Okay. Spryler? Put that in there. It doesn't have to be on the roller. As a matter of fact, I don't even want it on the roller. What do you want it on? Just put it on, four, just put on 350. And why am I doing that? Yeah, tell me. The reason why I'm doing it is because I'm allowing myself time up here because y'all are going to, oh, 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 it's burning. Oh, oh. And then you put it on bake. Out of okay. control of the show, and now everybody's like, well, you don't want to do so keep control. That's how I'm going to keep control. I don't need that done now. I've got to make all this other stuff. Okay? All right? You know what I'm saying? Okay. Some of y'all do. All right. Now, so let me just say that. Say this. Make it easy on yourself to stay in control instead of having a freak out. Okay. Now, the chicken. Let's season the chicken and get it cooking. Hold on. Because I have to stop it. Because we got the chicken. Stop your timer. Yes. Frank. Oh, the timer's all out of whack, man. How hot was the oven as long as we're 350? 